Sprinters got thick glutes. Weightlifters got thick glutes. Football players got thick glutes. And all that thickness contributes to their athletic physiques. And we've got the perfect exercise to strengthen and thicken up those glutes. And we're gonna start right now up here. So a lot of strength and conditioning coaches love compound movements. They love doing plyometrics. They love free weights. But when you go to a gym, what about some of those crazy commercial machines? Oftentimes, those machines hold crazy nuggets that can really help improve your overall strength. And in regards to your glutes, it can drastically increase the size of your glutes. Let's take those crazy glute blaster exercises, for example, the kickbacks. I remember back in 1999 training and seeing women, sorry, doing the actual glute kickback all of the time. And one dude actually showed me, he's like, hey, if you don't wanna go on those machines, go on the leg press. And so one thing that you can do to really improve that hip extension and that glute need is to get into position here. And as this comes down, okay, right here, boom, come back up, come down, boom, come back up. And we almost want to see it right there. I'm pushing too much through my toe. So I'm going to change the angle here. And I want to lock out through my heel at the top. Come back down, nice and controlled. Right there. Get that again. Oh my God. And what you can do is you can hit this for like four sets of 12 to 17, maybe even a drop set of 30. And you will feel an absurd pump in your glute max, okay? I really like using the leg press for various reasons, and I really like using that to isolate my glutes and to get a crazy blood rush in there, and then that's gonna be a great exercise to help set up the rest of the cool movements that we can use to thicken this up and eventually lead to that number one glute movement that you can use today. You also gotta make sure you hit both sides. <laughs> So sprinters are gonna have thick glutes to help them get out of the blocks, okay? To help them through the drive phase. That's gonna help them be very explosive and accelerate rapidly. Weightlifters, they have extraordinarily thick glutes because of the full range of motion. Back squatting they're doing, that's gonna lengthen their glute max in the bottom position. But also, there's research that'll show you that on hip extension, that shorter range of motion, that's also gonna help build up their glutes as well. So the top end and the bottom end. Football players, we're gonna see that football players have thick glutes because it helps them cutting, helps them decelerate, and then accelerate back out of that with that hip extension. What they all have in common is that they have have to coordinate their glutes well and they have to make sure that they're warming them up accordingly. So we're gonna show you two sweet warm-ups. And the first one is gonna be just based off of standing here and you wanna squeeze here, almost feel your hamstrings and your quads. So this is that stable point, right? And then this aspect is now gonna be triggering that glute med here and we're gonna open this up. So you have like a little bit of hip stabilization which leads to that glute med. Open that knee and you can try and hold that for a slow eccentric and then you want to switch sides. So you can do like three sets of eight and I can already feel like a decent pump. Okay, and you can even feel there, my right knee started to cave in a little bit. I had less control on my right hip. I could actually also feel that when I did that. That leg press kick back. The next movement after you hit that, I'm going to give you two options. It's going to be a glute bridge. Okay, so we can go here, boom, like this, right? Boom. Hip extend, okay, here, extend. God, my left side's so much better. Boom. Extend. Now, one freaking fantastic way to light up your glutes even more. So we've got our garage strength stability roller and we're gonna put our foot on the stability roller. And I've talked about this with hinge lunges. I've talked about this with stability split squats. It will wake up your glutes very rapidly and your brain because you have to focus a little bit more on that placement. We get into position here and I wanna push through my heel. Boom and you're gonna feel your hamstring, holy crap, through your knee, your quad, and your glute immediately. Here, boom. Squeeze that at the top for stabilization, right? Boom. Boom, wow. This freaking movement is sweet, dude. Everybody should be doing this. So, three sets of eight on each side. 
pair those together, go back and forth, and then that's gonna lead into that next key exercise. Now that next exercise that's gonna help with that athletic physique and building those glutes is going to be an ass to grass back squat. And this is not something that is just anecdotal, okay? If you just look at weightlifters, look at their glutes, their powerhouses, right? And what they do is a lot of deep, full range of motion back squats. And researchers have found that in that bottom position, there's a large amount of action from the glutes. And also there's a large amount of action from hip extension at the top. If you do full range of motion back squats, you will build that athletic physique around your glutes. You'll enhance your strength. And over a long period of time, you'll develop that backside. Now, another absolutely fantastic exercise that you can use that's gonna be more absolute strength is going to be a deadlift. And remember we talked about extension at the top, that's also gonna be targeting those glutes. So if we're here, boom, 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 squeeze, squeeze through. And I'm gonna give you a little music tip here, okay? John Philip Sousa, creator of the Sousa phone, he would talk about marching and he would say, march as though you're pinching a nickel between your butt cheeks. That's literally what you should be doing at the top of your deadlift. That's that hip extension coming through with a massive amount of weight. So use the full range of motion back squat along with the deadlift, but still, these two movements are not the quintessential glute builder. We've got more on that to come. So if it's not the deadlift or the back squat, what can it be? So maybe it's some other type of leg exercise that we're gonna work towards. And we've just gotta continuously remember full range of motion and that top portion. And that's why I love using step ups. So if I do a step up like this, you will hit a little bit of the quads, but I wanna focus on this stretch position. Remember, longer range of motion will target that glute max. And then I get to the top, boom, and I wanna come through here. And this is something that we use inside of our app peak strength. So if we come in here and I wanna click on this, I wanna say, hey, I've got a workout. It's exercise B, right? This is going to be our dumbbell step up. So we actually wanna focus on building those glutes in a unilateral position, which is why we programmed it inside of peak strength. It's providing different variations and providing different types of strength stimulus to improve your overall performance and improve that overall recruitment. Now, another way that we could do this is by holding a dumbbell here, come up, boom, okay? And I wanna come down nice and controlled. Again, that, oh, that right side's so weak, my ankle's weak. And what's cool there is I can feel my glute working a little bit more because I still am recovering from a rolled ankle. I'm gonna go here, come through, right? Now I'm squeezing through my right glute, I'm coming down, and one thing you'll see is that my right knee is still just a little unstable, and a lot of that instability is related to that right ankle, okay? Coming up, come back down. We're programming the dumbbell step ups to target those glutes. If you have some type of issue, you can actually come in and replace that exercise. Pick whatever movement that you can do specifically to attain that dream physique. So head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS Store, and you can get five free workouts today to start your journey. But what if it's something else? So if it's not a squat and it's not those step ups, what else could it be? Let's go looking for some sweet classic glute bridges. So I'm gonna demonstrate here with our single leg roller available at garagetrank.com. And I'm gonna get set down in the bottom position, okay? So I'm here, put this up on my hips. Here, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna come up. Ah. Oh. And you wanna do like three sets of 20, three sets of 17, something like that. Try and drive through the heels and get equal with your trunk right here. God, that's hard. One other thing that I like to do, and I'm gonna demonstrate it without the actual bar because I'm a <laughs> We can put in some unique alternatives. So if we get like a dumbbell, a plate, and we put our feet like this, our knees are gonna come out, okay? So I'll demonstrate, and that's gonna be a little bit more glute meat. So I'm gonna move this, so it's stable, a little here. Wow, when I really control on the pad and I think about my hips, unless I'm moving my back, that blows up my glutes right there. So that's another big factor is that you could do like a drop set of 30, drop set of 40 here with no weight. And if you're really focused on not moving on the pad and instead just focusing on that hip extension here, 
that's gonna force a little bit better mind muscle connection, which will lead to that plumpy glute action. But it's still not the best exercise. The next one is the banger. So what's that exercise? You guys know, this is garage strength. What else would it be other than a single leg squat? And I'm gonna show you guys like 10 different variations, but then I'm gonna show you the absolute best. Okay, so one thing that we can think about is that if we lengthen this foot forward, okay, and we get here, that's gonna help lengthen that glute right here. And you're gonna be in a unilateral position, so you're gonna be more stable. You're gonna have to be more stable through that hip stabilization, right? Here, like that. I could move this a little bit closer and then try to change my trunk angle, okay? And I'm just giving you a little bit of foreshadowing here, okay? That's gonna help still, boom, lengthen that. Another thing that we can do is that we could use something like a safety squat bar. We could get a duffalo bar. We could use a goblet position. We could use a front squat position. We can do all these different bars with different foot positions and different positions with our toes as well. That's gonna take us into that number one freaking awesome exercise that you've never seen anywhere on the internet. No one has ever shown this, ever. So this is going to be a slow eccentric Good morning, single leg squat. And what I wanna focus on, I'm gonna come down nice and controlled and I wanna get a forward lean. Here, boom, oh yeah. And I wanna focus on almost putting my chest, my pecs on my quad. Okay, here, oh, boom. Now, remember, okay, I wanna show you this from the side. When we talked about the research earlier, We've seen researchers talk about unilateral positions, split squat positions, lighting up the glutes, okay? We know that that is out there. We also know if we can lengthen the glute deeper, it's like a full range of motion back squat, that's gonna target the glutes. We also know hip extension at the top. So if we get here and I come down safely, you can do this with your body weight, okay? You can go here just to practice and feel this out. Two, three, here. Lengthen, 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 and then I come up, boom. Now, I squeeze here, through my heel, through my glutes, come back down, come back up, okay? So this will target your quads a little bit. It's gonna target your hamstrings as well. But the next day, you will be feeling it tremendously in your glutes. And what's cool is that this is also gonna build up that foundation around your lower back. You're gonna have greater stability, and this is something that you can do once a week Again, do like three sets of five, then do two crazy drop sets. Maybe you just use a dumbbell at a lighter load. But these are all great glute exercises. However, that good morning, slow eccentric single leg squat is an absolutely fantastic glute exercise. And I believe it's the number one banger glute exercise that you can try today. Head over to the gym, make sure you're using a roller. Benches are a bit too high, okay? So pick up a roller at garagetrank.com if you want, but use a roller to optimize that overall position. Because remember, freaks, if you want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.